Good morning, guys. It's been a while. I know I say this every time, but it's been a minute since I vlogged or vlogged. So yeah. All right. Well, um, what time is it? It's about eleven o'clock. Ten forty-eight, and yeah, I got a pretty late start to my day. I just got done eating and having coffee and blah blah blah. But yeah. Um, it's been a while, but. I spent this morning trying to like to just reset I guess my daily routine. I watched a few videos, I watched like a Ty Lopez video, I watched a Team Fearless video. And they're all pretty good stuff, you know, it's just like stuff to like motivate you. Um you know motivation, you can only go so far with motivation, but it's good to do it every once in a while. Because motivation just is just like a jump start. But the thing is to build a habit to keep doing things, you know. So today, um, I'm working on some menus. Hold on. All right. It's pretty freaking cold outside. <laughs> well, uh, today, like I said, I'm working on some menus for work. I had uh, designed some little menus that will display like all the items that we don't have on our list. Because a lot of times, you know, customers be coming in and be like, yo, you know, what is this? What is that? You know, they'll ask about our specials that aren't on our menu. So I went ahead and made one. I'm going through a lot of trial and error, but, you know, we're slowly making progress. It could get frustrating because it's like, fuck, I just printed like 15 of these menus and I still got to fix something. So I'm like, shit. But like I said, it's, it's progress. You know, it's baby steps to going in the right direction. You know, I could get all mad and frustrated all I want. But at the end of the day, what matters is the results. So the ultimate goal is just to get there and perfect the menus and get it done. Because, you know, like, this is something I'm really just doing for fun. Or, you know, just out of my own time. Because I just feel like it's really going to benefit everybody at work. And I don't know. It's just, it's cool. You know, a lot of people that I've told about it are like, you know, are you going to get something out of it? Are you going to get paid? You know, blah, blah, blah. But... I mean, that's not the goal. Like, sure, that'd be nice, but I'm just doing it just to just to improve, you know, because if I do the same thing every single day, I'm just like in a, a routine. I'm on repeat, you know. It's, it's just like there's nothing fun about the day if I'm just going to work and just working, you know. So I just I want to try to continuously uh, be creative and, and try new things and see what works and what doesn't work because... Ultimately, it's gonna help me improve, you know, just think differently when I'm in other situations or if I have a different job. So, it's not always about the short-term short -term goals. A lot of people are always looking for instant gratification. And um, I don't know, I just feel like sometimes you just gotta give a lot and eventually you'll, re you'll receive a lot more in the future, you know? Well, yeah. All right. Well, I was just kind of venting. Okay. So, anyways, like I said, I was watching a few videos. This morning, I was watching a Team Fearless video, which is, you know, like one of my favorite motivational videos. <clears throat> it's about comfort zone. I'll post that link somewhere, I guess, in the YouTube thing. And then the next video I watched on, like, it's called, like, the Billion Dollar Morning Routine. So, it was pretty much just talking about organization and, uh, you know, just, just, like... Just having little mini goals like it could be simple things as you know waking up and making your bed you know because the main point of that video was like anything you do is how you is how you do everything else so if you could do tiny little things like if you could follow through with little goals as such as brushing your teeth every morning fixing your bed and all that you know you've already built the habit of doing things like these little minimal tasks that'll uh help you keep organized you know so when you go on to pursue building other habits you know it's it's gonna be easier because you're already practicing other habits you've already you already do whatever i don't know but yeah okay let me just stop talking because i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> all right well uh i'm working on the menus today uh they're not coming out right for some reason when i print red it comes out like a freaking dark maroon color and uh my brother's telling me that maybe the color profile on 
on the Mac is different from my Windows computer because I'm printing from my Windows, my Windows computer and the ink seems to be coming out inconsistently like the color. So I'm at, I, I do got my brother's Mac and I, I am, I should just go ahead and try to print from there, but I'm gonna go ahead and find some like special paper at Office Depot or something, whatever, Office of Macs. And yeah, whatever. All right, so I'm here at the lab. I said, fuck it. I ain't gonna waste gas and go to the um, Office Max and whatever. Not yet, at least. So anyways, I wanted to show you guys what I was talking about. So these are the menus I'm making. Uh, see how this is like a, a nice kind of bright red, but it has like a gradient. It's kind of dark and then it gets red. So it doesn't print really consist consistently with the color. See, it's a little dark at the top and then it's a little more solid red. So I did that like last week. Just yesterday I did this, the same exact file and whatever. And look, it's like a, a dark red, like a maroon, whatever. It doesn't pop, it's not a bright red. And uh, this is using a different paper. It looks really clean, but it's still not the right color. So I've been printing those through my computer and my brother was like, yo, you know, something about the color profile is different. So I'm gonna try printing from his Mac because I guess it's calibrated to his, uh, his Mac. So we'll try that out. Yeah. All right, so I printed from the Mac and it is still coming out weird. Check it out. So I'm thinking it's really just the paper I'm using because this is a... Um, it's a cardstock paper. So maybe it's just not printing well because I have printed pretty well from my computer before. See when I did the uh, Rockin' Music labels, like they did come out like a nice red. But this is like, this is kind of like a, a glossy premium paper, so yeah. So I'm guessing it's just the paper. So I'm gonna head to the store and go get some nice paper. Yeah, all right. Hopefully I can get that out the way ASAP because I really need a launch the freaking website. You know, get these hoodies going, take pre-orders because every day I waste, it's eventually gonna get warmer and nobody's gonna want hoodies no more. But yeah, all right, well, uh, watch me attempt a one-arm pull-up because I've been working on those, kinda-ish, but yeah, all right. Oh, shoot. Uh, uh, no, I'm too weak, I was just kidding. All right, let's head to the store. All right, guys, I'm at Staples. I haven't been to this one since I had my old car. I had a Toyota Camry. That's probably about a good five, six years ago. So let's hope they got some nice paper for me. All right, so I just left Staples and uh, that printing paper could get expensive real quick. So <laughs> I went ahead and just got the same brand of uh, as a printer, Epson, and it's like premium paper. So yeah, let's hope it turns out good. If anything, I think my brother already has this paper, but whatever. It's better to have it and not need it than not have it and not need it. I know it. It's better to have it and... It's better to have it and need it than to not have it and need it. No way. Fuck. It's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. So, I'm here at the lab. <clears throat> And I think I figured out what the issue was. So check this out. I think my um, document wasn't the right color mode. So I went to image mode and I put it on CMYK. It was originally RGB. So when I did CMYK, this thing got a little brighter. So I saved it and now it is almost time for the moment of truth. First, I gotta load the new paper up. And we'll get this started. All right, let's do this thing. Ooh, check this out. It still came out pretty ugly. So, I don't know what to do. Maybe I just need to research more into printing correctly. <sighs> we'll see. All right. <laughs> 